Hello guys, I'm here with a video of my 2014 Silverado. Uh, I'm going to explain the upgrade from the 4.2 inch to the 8 inch touchscreen. As you can see here, I do have full functionality, everything of that nature. So I can go to audio and everything like that. So, in order to upgrade, you will first need a 8 inch touchscreen of course, and you're going to need an HMI box which is located behind the glove box. It is tucked up under there. Uh, it looks like this. It'll be tucked up, uh, we tucked up this way. It'll be like right up here, right behind a bar. When you take the glove box off, you'll see it. It'll be really tucked up in there to look for it. The 2014s, like the LT that comes with the 4.2 inch screen, they come with the these are a IO4 HMI box, which will not allow this screen to work if you just buy the eight inch touch screen. I've tried it, the screen would not work, but the radio worked. So, when you take off this screen, it'll be your 4.2 inch screen. When you take it off, you will see a radio and a CD player back here. They're two separate. They're very easy to just plug in. They're only held in by like two screws, like seven millimeter screws each and you just take it out, unplug it, super easy. But those two do not matter. You'll need your eight inch touchscreen, of course, and then you'll need to order the HMI box, which can come from uh, MVI. Uh, you can talk to their uh, tech support, they can give you more information. But when you order the box that looks like this, when you order this, you talk to them about giving, you give them the last eight numbers of your VIN number and then they will program it for you and then they will ship it to you so all you have to do is plug it in and then you will have your functionality of your 8 inch screen. When I was first doing this all I did was I ordered this 8 inch screen and it came with another radio and another CD player. I plugged it in, nothing worked and the audio was stuck on my screen that said audio off. I got nothing so I put the factory radio and the factory CD player back in and everything worked, but my screen did not light up. I learned because this box here cannot function if it's the IO4, it cannot function this screen at all. So you'll need the IO5 just to run this or if you get the IO6, that will allow navigation. I did not go for navigation, but I do still have every function of the touchscreen because I think navigation is obviously stupid because I have a GPS but that's just me so I only went for that and then uh, all you have to do is just plug in the HMI here and then your screen and then it'll work you don't need you do not need the CD player or CD player and you do not need the radio behind this those can stay factory from whenever you bought the truck because these do not matter they just they're just a radio and CD player. This right here behind here is the brains of everything. I've learned that mistake. It'll probably cost you around $800-ish if you buy it straight from MVI. Or if you can find an 8-inch screen for cheaper, go for it. And then the Just IO 5 box, this will probably cost you around $300. But it'll be unlocked for your truck, and you can just plug it in and go. So... I do still have all the functions, as you can see I can just turn the volume up and it works. And of course everything else on my steering wheel, it all still works because it's just the factory thing pretty much. So I hope that clears some stuff up for you guys, I'll leave all the links in the description and then you guys have a good day.